Greetings, I am TP8000 CFV. And today, I'm going to teach you how to do mechanical rigging in Blender. I guess I'll start with an origin. I noticed on YouTube there wasn't a single Blender tutorial on mechanical rigging. Well, I thought, hey, I could do that. When you think of mechanical rigging, it's, you think it's very hard. But it's actually not that hard. If you're familiar with the Blender interface, you'll understand this a little bit better. This isn't exa this tutorial isn't exactly for uh, beginners. It's a little bit for it's for intermediates. Now, first, well, let's open Blender. All right, here's Blender in all its glory. There's the default cube. Delete it. All right, now. If you're a beginner watching this, I'm going to mention some of the keys, not all of them. This is really an intermediate tutorial. Now, press 3 on the number pad, make sure your number lock is on. 3. Now, we're going to add a cylinder. Press spacebar, go to, and you get this drop down box, go to mesh, and click cylinder. Make it 10 vertices, because 32, 32 is stupid. Okay. Tab, go, go into object mode. S for scale. And then, as you have it in scale, click the mouse wheel, and you can scale across the x-axis. Pretty cool, huh? Now we're going to copy it. Shift D. Escape. Grab the red arrow, because we're going to move it to the right. Hold down your shift key, and hold down your mouse wheel to move over without uh, activating the 3D view. Now, edit mode, tab into edit mode, scale it down, down, there. Tab out of edit mode. Now we're going to scale it across the x-axis again, make it pretty long. There. Looking good. Now, I like to do this, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to give my big pipe a color. There, now it's black. Alright. Now, in earlier attempts, with uh, mechanical rigging, I fu usually what I would do is this. I just add another cylinder right here. But then I just decided that uh, that didn't work as well. So instead of a um, cylinder, I'm going to use an ecosphere. So spacebar, mesh. Ecosphere. Accept. Scale. Tab out of edit mode. Shift D. Grab the red arrow and move it to the black, the end of the black pipe. All right. Now press A to des deselect it. Excellent. Now, this part is very cool. Grab the black pipe and click in the center of the ecosphere, the ball. Now make sure that uh, when doing this, you want to make sure that you're in the dead center of the cylinder and the ecosphere. Well, not necessarily the ecosphere, but the exact dead center. Wait. No, you you want to make sure that the cursor is in is in nowhere on these axes. So your result should look like that with your cursor. This thing, right down the center. Now, go down here and click center cursor. Now. What we have done is move the center point 
of the cil of the cylinder at the ball. Do the same thing for this one. And there we go. Now the next part is very easy. It's called a track to constraint. Now grab the black pipe and we're going to track it to this ball. Control T is the track to constraint. Don't worry, it does that all the time. Now grab the little pipe and grab the other ball. Control T. Now grab the black pipe. Press F7. And you should get something that says Anim Settings Draw and Constraints and Object and Links. We want to mess with the constraint the constraints. Down here you'll see a two and an up. On the up press Y. On the two press Z. Now on the little pipe same thing except uh, except we're going to reverse it. Y but this time instead of Z we put negative Z. Now when we grab the pipe, look at that. So that's working that's working. Now all we have to do is a simple parent. Now do this exactly now do this way exactly because this will screw you up and possibly piss you off. So grab the little pipe then grab the ball. It doesn't matter what which pipe you start with, by the way. But grab the pipe first, then the ball. Grab the pipe, pipe and the ball, and control P. Make parent. Gra grab the ball, and now we have a working piston. Cool, huh? And do the same thing with the black pipe. Control P. Make parent. And we have a piston. It's alive! Mwahaha! <laughs> yeah. Well, this is my tutorial. I hope that you have learned something. Thank you.